Stacey Sonnerman and I'm here at the Look Again Spring Summer Press event. I'm having so much fun. I've worn free outfits, there are rails of clothes everywhere and plenty of cupcakes. <laughs> Style means a lot to me. I've got two children, so I always want to be comfortable, but I still want to feel good about myself. I like to look nice, wear bright colours, wear nice clothes and feel good. I think it's very important. A staple item in my wardrobe and, a, and an item that I think everybody should have is a good pair of leggings. A really good, strong, hard-wearing pair of leggings. You can't go wrong. They go with everything. They're comfortable. I love leggings. My top styling makeup tips will be always moisturise. I think that makes such a difference. It makes your skin nice and fresh, ready for the makeup to go on. I love eyelashes. You could wear no makeup at all and still look fully dressed with eyelashes. My top styling tips will probably be, for me, I like to wear high-waisted clothes and things that come above, so it makes your waist look really small. And always try and either a bit of denim and white or a pop of colour. Colourful patterned things always look really happy and bright. So much excites me about working with Look Again. The fact that I know I can go online and shop for everybody in my household. Me, the children, Aaron, homeware, anything happens and I need something the next day, Look Again is my answer. Plus the fact that I don't have to drag the kids out and go shopping. I can do it all from the comfort of my own home. My favourite pieces from the Look Again collection are this outfit I'm wearing right now. I absolutely love it. There's also an outfit I wore on the shoot which was a pair of denim shorts with a bright yellow waistcoat. I thought they were so cool. It was like really summery, made me feel really good about myself. I love the pieces from Laura Scott. They're really original, so different, loads of good patterns and colours. They're great. This is cute, it's so vintage, it's got little bicycles on it and my boys would love it. I love this, it reminds me of like china plates and I think it would look so nice when you're on holiday with a tan. I love this Oli dress, it's so flattering, it's not something that I'd look at and think Oh, shall I try that on? But as soon as I put it on, my body looks really nice. It pulls you in and it's got added sparkle. This is this looks like cotton but feels like silk. It's so cool. And it's got such a cute print on it as well. That's very pretty. I'd feel like an angel in this. Nice and floaty and white. I love a good bright colour. Nothing says I am happy more than a bright colour and this is so nice and floaty but at the same time good tan, good dress. Away. If I could have any tips for new mums who want to stay stylish it's just be yourself and wear what you want to wear. Don't ever feel like because you've got children you can't dress the way that you want to dress. It's important to feel good about yourself so go with what you love. I most admire Kate Moss's celebrity style. I never copy her because I haven't got the guts, but she is like my idol of fashion. She always looks so cool. My biggest fashion faux pas is letting my parents dress me when I was younger. I look back at the photos of myself and I'm almost positive I wore a clown suit for half of my life. I just look ridiculous. <laughs> Maybe it was in fashion then, but I highly doubt it. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> I think certain things in my style and fashion have changed since sort of X Factor times but I always go back to the same kind of thing. I think I remember wearing a white t-shirt and denim shorts to my audition and I'm obviously drawn to that kind of outfit. Here I am five years later. <laughs> if I had the chance to perform in the West End I think my dream role would probably be like Eliza Doolittle. <laughs> I've got the accent down. <laughs> my Fair Lady is one of my favourites and I might actually be able to do that one. <laughs> I wouldn't have to have like speech therapy lessons or change my accent. I think the biggest influences for my debut album would be just life experiences. So things that I've been through since I was younger and my children, my partner, all, all different experiences. The mood that I'm in when I walk into the studio has a huge impact on the song that I leave with. <laughs> if I'm not happy, you get a seriously angry song. If you want to see more of me, go to lookagain.co.uk.